anyway um this is a funny one supposedly boris johnson thinks he did a good job with the coronavirus in the uk which i'm still having problems kind of wrapping my head around i think most people are in the same position right we uh you have papers in the uk telling us that um uh telling us to rescue our summer holidays right um you know welcoming the easing of the lockdown encouraging people to go outside like these little you know subliminal messages that have been put out there especially by the mirror um i'd say the daily mail and maybe the sun right they're the ones that are really pushing all those kind of brexit rags are the ones that are pushing this idea that yeah we should be going about our normal everyday life and they're also the people who have been the most um uh who've been the most critical of the lockdown uh rules anyway to begin with right they don't think lockdown was um they don't think the lockdown having us but being locked down in general was a good idea they think you know we should have gone about it in a different way they don't really have any any solutions but you know people can say one to say but i find this strange with boris because he actually contracted uh coronavirus right um during the early stages of our lockdown in the uk and he was very he was very cavalier about it all right he didn't really treat it that seriously you know famously had that speech where he said oh he was shaking everyone's hands in hospitals and hugging people and he didn't care and then he suddenly gets it to the point where if you believe the articles in the paper he was you know on death's door right they were, they were making the necessary arrangements in case he did die and i guess they only do that when they think you are going to die right so he was gravely gravely ill and for somebody that is you know as physically unhealthy as he is i'm assuming it was really touch and go so to go through that and to still have this i don't know to still have this sort of like warped view about what's going on is really bizarre you would think he'd have like a come to jesus moment right or like being racked being in that hospital but i guess some people just no matter what happens in life they'll just stick with their pov because it's, I guess it's much harder for them to accept the reality that all this time they might have been wrong. I don't really know. I can't really psychoanalyze anyone. I'm not sorry really my place, but I just found this statement really, really funny on The Guardian. The title says, Boris Johnson declares himself very proud of coronavirus response, which is an odd way to go about it, right? Being proud of your response when you've got, you know, we've had the highest number of deaths, I think, in Europe. He continues to say, um, Boris Johnson said he's very proud of his government's record in a coronavirus during the Prime Minister's question at which Keir Stamer uh, repeatedly pressed him on his leadership over the issue. Johnson, who announced a new co commitment for the vast majority of COVID-19 tests to be processed within 24 hours. This is a new incentive, right? I think the test prior are 48 hours. I think the ones they're doing in the Premier League are 24. The ones we get, us average day folk, is 48 hours. It's like, thanks. <laughs> complained several times about what he called a negative approach to Labour leader. In response, Steimer said the President Prime Minister was confusing scrutiny for attack. Uh, Steimer, who began by expressing surprise that Johnson had, had noted the death of George, George Floyd and subsequent arrests in the US during his opening remarks, stated his questions by referring to a Daily Telegraph article, which said Johnson was revamping the Cabinet's committees to take control. Imagine all this time this guy didn't do, what has he been doing then? If he's just taking control now, what has he been actually doing? As if, fair enough he was ill but you're back to work now right it's like that person that goes on holiday at work and they just start rambling on about their holiday for you you know you've got when you go on holiday and you're at work when you and you come back at work so and you've just been from holiday you just been you just been at holiday whatever you know you know what i mean you've got a week to talk about your holiday a week some sometimes i say three days after after that time after that period is over you can't mention your holiday again it's done it's kaput your holiday is gone so with this guy, if you're ill and you come back to work, you get, you know, you probably get less time. Like you probably get two days of people feeling sorry for you and wanting to offer you tea and get you a coffee and asking for you on any lunch. After that, it's just done. You can't mention it again. But this guy is just, I don't know. What is he still, what the, and, and who, and who was in charge whilst he was like taking his foot off the pedal? Bizarre, isn't it? Um, he said, uh, Temer said the Prime Minister was confusing scrutiny for an attack. Stamer, who began expressing his surprise, da, da, da. so I mentioned before, he said, da, 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 da. started his question by referring to the Daily Telegraph article, which said Johnson was revamping the cabinet committees to take control of the response to the coronavirus. Stamer asked, um, so an obvious question for the Prime Minister, who's been direct, who's been direct control up until now? Johnson replied, I take full responsibility for everything that government has been doing to tackle the coronavirus. I'm very proud of our record. If you look at what we've achieved so far, it's very considerable. We have created the NHS, we have driven down the death rate, and we are now seeing a far fewer emissions. That's expert politics. Ticking, right you get asked a question 
clear as day as this, right? So an obvious question for the Prime Minister is who's been in direct control up until now? And then he answers it in the most about way, about answering kind of way, right? In the generalities, right? Like, I take full responsibility. Then you, you're assuming he's going to say somebody, but he doesn't say anybody. He just kind of moves the goalpost somewhere else. It's like, expert. He's really good at kind of deflecting questions. He never answers any question. Unless, he only answers questions he wants to answer directly. I guess most politicians are like that, right? You can't really blame him for it, but bloody hell, it's a wizard of that, isn't it? continue says he's added um i think what the country would like to hear from him is more signs of cooperation in that endeavor i love when people do that and it's not being negative say like, no your ideas are shit i'm just pr- i'm just bringing it to your attention i used to get that a lot sometimes at work when you're doing like you know team meetings and brainstorming sessions i'll like, oh, stop being negative no i'm just picking holes in your idea like you're, you're obviously getting enthusiastic about it so i'm trying to let you know that you shouldn't get enthusiastic about it because it's a horrible horrible d- Anyway, that sounds bad, but, you know, it's the truth. What can you do? Um, Stamen responded to the letter, commenting by saying he had written to Johnson two weeks ago to ask whether he could help build a consensus on pupils returning to school, saying that I did it confidentially because I didn't want to make a lot of it. He hasn't replied, and then he didn't reply to that either. He said the Labour leader asked Johnson about a report that levels of trust in the government had dropped notably since the revelations about the lockdown movements of Dominic Cummings. Um... And sometimes irritated sound and Johnson said he was surprised at the Stamer's approach. He accused the Labour leader of being obtrusive and dismissing the efforts of people involved in track and trace. His attempts to dis- distract the public from what's been going on successful. He said, um, I really do not see the purpose of this endless attacks on the public trust and the competence. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, our numbers are not nice, are they? Nearly 40,000 deaths in the UK, man. Grim, grim, grim numbers. Whatever way you look at it, whatever way you cut that pie not good in it and they continue to hear Stamer replied the prime minister is confused and scrutiny for attack i've supported the government openly and i've taken criticism for it but boy he makes it difficult to support the government over the last two weeks Stamer ended by asking why lockdown restrictions were eased on monday when the government coronavirus warning level remained at four something johnson had previously said would not happen johnson replied he knows perfectly well that the alert level doesn't does allow it the former health secretary jimmy hunt later asked the pm if he would make a commitment to all covid tests being completed within the day and he says i can under he says i can undertake to him now to get all the tests turned around in 24 hours by the end of june except for difficulties with postal test and in insuperable problems like that but yeah we're in a position where we're in and what can we do man things are all going a bit peak tongue in the uk but you know we kind of proceed we'd strive and prosper and hopefully we'll get out from the other side hopefully hopefully hopefully